Hello, this video was originally planned to be about the Kin FC 6 ls and the Wells 28A reference alone, but it turned out that each improvement I achieved with the Kin more or less doubled when I threw in the Cefsu Monobox. Awkward brand name, but great devices. Anyway, Instead of telling you the same story twice, I give it to you all in one single pot. As the SC6LS is only 11 inches wide, it looks like a toy in comparison with the 17 inch front plate of the bells, but it puts 4 kilograms more on the scale which is due to the humongous power transformer and the choke coil. The preamp sports 4JJ12AU7 and 2RCA22DE rectifier tubes. When you press the power button, a red LED will light up and the tiny white line, which normally indicates the position of the volume level knob, will be blinking for 30 seconds to show that the tubes are being warmed up and the device is in mute state. When you press the mute button later, you will get the same warning. Unfortunately, you cannot mute the device on the front panel. On the back panel, you can connect four different sources with RCA cables, but forget about XLR. Very disappointing when you have a K-in phone stage with XLR outlets. The only luxury, by amping is possible because there are two pairs of terminals. Let's listen to a few tracks to fathom the performance of the four devices. When I listen to this track over the solid state combination, it sounds perfect, but it does not infuse a lot of emotion, while the tube alliance creates much more of a life experience. The musicians seem to hang on the lips of the singer to cooperate with her timing and with her expression. With the two bells devices, this track has a touch of karaoke atmosphere. The space of the singer is not quite identical with the space of the orchestra. Even the saxophone seems to be inserted afterwards. The tube team provides a genuine position for the singer and also for the saxophone. The recording does not sound like the product of the mixing console, although this may certainly be the case. Carlos Chavez has scored his composition for a very big orchestra extended by very hard to reproduce instruments like the big kettle drum, the bombardon, marimbas and an array of exotic percussion instruments. The Kayin Sestu group was very successful at reproducing this wide range of very dynamic, sometimes even explosive sounds. When you shake a tin of marbles, you will certainly create a lot of noise. But when you light a bunch of Chinese firecrackers, this will really assault your eardrums. And you cannot ignore that sound anymore. You have to listen to the very end. Intense music should mesmerize us in a similar way, and that's exactly what the Kayin 
and the soft shoes can do. Unless you crank it up, this song can sound like shopping center music, but it is dynamite with these amps. You get a powerful, elastic, upright bass, an overwhelming grand piano, an enveloping rustle of cymbals, a Maria Callas powered jazz voice, and a very wide and even high soundstage with no blur. Can a integrated amp like the Unison Trio 25 beat this tube tune? Regarding clarity, transparency, and resolution, yes. But the price you pay for that is a sometimes unnatural dryness and a lack of emotion. Crescendos remain nailed to the stage and do not move forward towards the listener. And one more aspect, the unison is all about the treble, not enough bass. Talking about bass, nobody needs to be sad when he does not have a bi-amping setup, which is, of course, great for listening to Kodo drumming all night, but with normal quality recordings, you get a deep, tight and elastic bass. Voices I could not be friend with suddenly became interesting and voices I had already enjoyed, now I indulged in immersing deeper than ever before. I'm not going to discuss here how much of the saliva of a singer I want to hear, a subject Thomas discusses in one of his videos on his channel Thomas and Stereo. Nor do I want to investigate if I can see the lips of a singer or not. But one thing is for sure, voices become a lot more realistic and individual. Most singers are suddenly people I believe to know in person, because many of the parameters which contribute to speech constitution are revealed by these amps. The shape of the jaws, mouth and nasal cavities, palate, tongue, larynx and vocal cords, so many parts of the body cooperate to produce a characteristic voice unique to each person in this world. This is, by the way, a crucial aspect for the development of electronic recognition security systems and crime prevention. But we high-enders already have our fingers in the pie. The Cayenne Sessio team will spoil your ears with a softer sound, but without sacrificing definition. There is more clarity and the structures of orchestral complexity are carved out more carefully and more colorfully. The rule of the survival of the fittest does not apply here. Even conglomerates and mixed bags are x-rayed. Voices and instruments have their own three-dimensional aura. Spatial information is more authentic. The layers of complex orchestrations are better separated and even simple stage setups are more realistic. Dynamic fidelity and impulse response increase and even beat 
the solid state amps. Should you dream of a pair of Kagin 9084D Mark II monoblocks in a design that matches the preamp, you can order it online at hi-fi-amplifiers.com for about 5,500 US dollars, British pounds or euros, including shipping. Transport costs vary, but so do the exchange rates so that the final prices are almost identical. Don't forget to add value-added tax and custom fees, which will bring you close to the dealer's prices. While here in Thailand, the price is still reasonable at 5,200 euros, in other countries, prices skyrocket up to about 8,000 euros. Wherever you buy, bang goes the money. And if you can't waste it, like the young lady here in this video clip, you may want to look somewhere else. Maybe you end up buying your power amps in that small shop just around the corner, in the depth of China, of course. They will be delighted to send you this pair of monoblocks in the 25 watt version for only 1,850 pounds or 2,600 US dollars, respectively euros, transportation included. There will be tax and custom fees as well, but this purchase nevertheless seems to be a real steal. These gigantic monoblocks cost just as much as this small preamp. Their design is noble and elegant, but the housing is only painted and cannot boast a 13 mm thick front plate of brushed aluminum, but it is torsionally stiff enough and sports tiny gap dimensions. By the way, talking about value for money, workmanship inside is also excellent. Electronic parts are equal to or even better than those of some of famous brand device which costs more than three times the price.